if, if someone's feeling anxious, especially a male, like you say, they don't like to open up um, because of the stigma, uh, which we are still trying to break. And I think a lot of work's been done on it, but we need to do more. But I think because of the stigma, that bottling up of the emotion of not being able to get this weight off your shoulder, that can carry as, as anger and frustration. And frustration, we know, can then lead to anger. And if you're dealing with anxiety, it is 24-7 in your head. So you're going to be snappy, aren't you, if somebody... If somebody speaks to you like if you're in an anxious moment so yeah I, I can definitely see where the emotions really overlap um and also obviously someone dealing with anxiety they're more likely to to deal with depression as well i found it really interesting looking into um a couple of large scientific studies that are looking at to see whether anxiety and depression could be two sides of the same condition which i thought was really interesting because they've got overlapping uh, symptoms and they're, they're going on the basis of seeing could it be this this umbrella where you've got anxiety and depression so that'll be interesting to see well a lot of the treatments for anxiety are the same treatments for depression mm. right yeah the ssris antidepressants oftentimes are uh, prescribed for both anxiety and depression cognitive behavioral therapy a therapy that treats anxiety and depression right so there's a lot of overlap and, you know, men in particular, they don't like to go to therapy, you know, they'll bottle it in. Traditionally, it's thought that they're not supposed to talk about things that it's a sign of weakness. Have you found that a lot of men have been reaching out to you over your social media saying thank you? Um, so not a lot, but I have had um, a few, quite a few um, who, who do say thank you. A lot of it is tends to be partners, though. So mm-hmm. Um, maybe wives, girlfriends, or even co-workers, they said, oh, well, I, I managed to read your book and um, I, I gave it to my um, friend or brother or, or, or husband and they really related to your story. And that's what I love hearing, the re- that people can relate, that relatability, because it takes me back to that moment with my friend when I was a- when he was able to relate with what I'd gone through. Um, but a lot of work has to be done. If you looked at the analytics in our community, so there's 2.3 million community members um, over the social media platforms. And I'd probably, I think it's 80% women and 20% men. And I, I would love for that gap to, to get smaller. Um, but it, it, it really hasn't um, over the time. But yeah, hopefully one day, um, I, 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 hopefully I could come back and I say, listen, it's 60, 40, and that'd be wonderful. Um, but yeah, w- there's more work to be done. 